Hey guys, and welcome back to another Hypixel API tutorial video. In this episode, we're going to be learning about the auctions endpoint underneath uh, Skyblock tab. For this video, I got the idea because someone decided to comment down below. So if you have any other suggestions for API endpoints you want me to take a look at, even non Hypixel related ones, you can go ahead and suggest that down below. And I'll definitely take a look at them. That said, uh, the main reason why I'm taking a look at this, not only because people were commenting saying they want some Skyblock stuff, but some guy, a uh, super cool guy who plays Skyblock apparently, okay, he approached me and he said he was looking for a project that would scrape the auction data on Hypixel uh, through Skyblock using the API. He wanted to scrape the auction data so he'd be able to be the first person to buy items that went or that had bins for under their value so i'm hopefully going to be making a video on that because i made a project for that um form but for this video we're just going to be doing a brief overview of the skyblock auctions that said we can get right into this for this video we're going to be using our api key although it's not necessary i'll get into that in a bit here um, and uh, so the b basic URL uh, is just going to be api.hypixel.net forward slash skyblock forward slash auctions. So we're going to be looking at the auctions endpoint here. And we're providing a key. And there's another parameter here you can provide, but it's optional. And so that's going to be uh, the page. So you can do and page is equal to and then the number. So I can do like a page nine or something. We're not going to do that uh, for the purpose of this, but I'll show you guys if you want to see how to scrape like different pages and stuff, you can check down um, in a video that should be coming soon about how to scrape the auction data. Um, but before I do any of that, I'm just going to show you guys how uh, how this looks if I show you guys in the command prompt. It's horrible. So as always, we're going to be running API command py, and you'll see it takes a little bit to parse the data. Uh, because there's just so much in this endpoint. It's an absurd amount, and you'll see in a second when I explain on the Firefox side of stuff. You'll see a very big thing here. And so let's get right into it. I'm going to show you guys Firefox. Here you go. Here's an example. You'll notice I didn't use my API key here. And you might be wondering, why didn't you use your API key? How did this work? I've noticed some weird behavior with this where you cannot provide your API key and it'll sometimes work. I think if you don't provide a page, you cannot provide an API key and it'll still work. However, you shouldn't quote me on that. I just felt like showing you guys that you don't need a key for this for some reason. Even though it says it's mandatory on the documentation, but we'll go over that in a second. A few things you'll note, uh, or a few things to note. There's a success true as always that indicates that it, we successfully got our get request process and sent back to us from the REST API. There's page, which is the current page we're looking at. There's the total pages, which is the amount of pages that we can check. And these are indexed, so you start at page zero, you don't start at page one, and you can go up to page 69. Not how many pages there are, but the highest page. So there's actually 70 pages, even though it's 69 total pages, it's a little weird. And that works because uh, the total auctions number Every page sends up to a thousand requests at once, at most. And so knowing that there's over 69,000 um, requests, but uh, or total auctions, but less than 70,000, it'll be 70 total pages. So it's whatever the thousand count here, so 69 plus one, that's how many total pages there are. So this isn't the total amount of pages, this is actually the highest index page that you can request. Now we've got last updated, so that's the last time that all this data was updated for this page, uh, which is the same for all the pages, I believe. And we're getting to the actual meat of this endpoint, which is the auctions. So you'll see there's over, there's actually exactly a thousand here. Um, it goes from index zero all the way to index 999. Scroll back up to the top here and I'll randomly pick one. Let's choose four. A few things here and you'll see that there's actually some really cool stuff first off you'll see that there's auction uuid uh, so you'll see there's a lot of uuids here just try and remember some of them hopefully 
We've got auction UID. This is always present as far as I'm aware. This is the UUID of the auction item or auction object. Next up, we've got the auctioneer, uh, which is the UID of the person who auctioned it, I believe, or the UID of the, I think it's the UID of the profile of the person who auctioned it. Oh no, this is the UID of the, the profile of the person. This is the UID of the account that of the person who auctioned it. I don't think it's account UID. Um, don't quote me on that. I should look into that, uh, but you'll notice there's that. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I was right. So you'll notice something a little cool here that I think I just want to point out. The thirteenth digit of every single auction UUID is a four. So the thirteenth character, no matter which one, I parsed through all of them, okay, is always a four. And actually, I, I mentioned that on the forms and under code help. Uh, in case anybody was curious. And I do post there once in a while, so you should check out my form account and uh, follow my activity, I guess, if you won't want code-related stuff, because all I really post is code-related stuff. Um, but yeah, so 13th digit, or 13th character, I should say, is always going to be a four. Uh, that's pretty cool. Next up, co-op, which is optional. Sometimes there's a co-op, which is going to be the UID of the co-op object. Um, that's only there if it's from a co-op. So for, if you're a solo, then this isn't here. Next, we've got start and end. So start is the Unix timestamp of the start of this auction. And then there's the end, which is when it's going to end. Item name. So that's just the raw string uh, text of the name of the item. And then I'll get into item lore. Or actually, I'll do item lore now. So item lore is very simple. It's a massive string that has all the raw text data for the name of the item. And this includes, uh, or sorry, not the name of the item, the lore of the item. And this includes color code tags and everything. Um, so feel free to look at that if you want. You could scrape this for information. However, unless you're really wanting lore, it's not that useful or enchants, I guess, in some cases, but we'll get into that in a second. Next up, we got extra. So this is the extra name. This is sometimes present, and it's like a more specified, specific version of the name. So you see it's enchanted book, but the extra is it's enchanting book of type enchanted book for harvesting. So this is a harvesting type book. It's under the category of consumables, they categorize everything in Skyblock. This is the tier, so you can get different tiers, which I believe is like common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary. And these are always cap, fully capitalized, I believe. And then there's also mythic, which is a newer one, I believe. I don't play that much here. Welcome. Starting bid, which is also sometimes the price. Don't be fooled for bin uh, items. Uh, then it's going to be um, the buyout number. Like some items you can just buy. And sometimes, sometimes you have to bid on them. So for this one, I'm not sure, um, but that, that's the price to just buy the item, I believe. We've got claimed, so whether or not it already ended and if it's claimed. Um, and then we've got claimed bidders, so which bidders already claimed it, or which bidder it claimed from. I'm not sure on that one, actually. Highest bid amounts, so that's the highest the auction got to. Bin, sometimes present, and a lot of these are only sometimes present, keep that in mind. So, um, like extra is not always present. I know bin for a fact is actually, it's either true or it's not present at all. It's never going to be false as far, as far as I'm aware. It's always true or not present at all. And then bids, of course, which I believe is always present. Uh, and you'll notice I skipped over one. I skipped over item bytes. Item bytes is actually quite interesting. This is a massive string. And the reason why it's unreadable is because it's encoded. Now you might be wondering, what's encoded in? Don't worry, I've already done that research for you. This is encoded in base64. So using Python, there's the base64 library you can use, which has a ton of functions that you can convert this back down to reasonable ASCII. And this is the, um, the NBT data, I believe, of the item. So if you want the raw NBT data of the item, you can take this uh, base64 
encoded string. You can send it over to a base64 to base10 converter and then to ASCII and then convert that to ASCII using the base64 um, library on Python. That's how I would do it because I'm using Python. And for the purpose of these tutorials, I'm going to be using Python unless otherwise uh, specified. And so you can do that and you can get the base data if you want, but I'm not going to look too much into that. And we can take a look at a few more of these. Um, fairly simple. You'll notice here, for example, there's a bin. Here there's no bin because this is not, uh, you can't just buy this one. It's like a bet. So you have to keep bidding. Um, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so it keeps going. And that's essentially it for like a good summary of the API if, uh, endpoint. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. Uh, briefly though, before the end of the video, I'm going to take a look at the, um, what is this, the documentation, the official Hypixel provided documentation for this endpoint. This is skyblock forward slash auctions. A brief description if you want, each page will return up to a thousand results. Like I mentioned, and it uses pagination to the amount of results returned. Key, which is sometimes optional, and page, which is always optional. If you don't provide it, then it defaults to zero. Um, and it is in zero index. Sorry. And then there's an example response with some brief descriptions for some of these. Um, however, not much description on like the auction data. Maybe I can do a more in-depth video on the auction objects in the future. However, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Uh, you guys can look into the auctions yourself if you want. And uh, if you need any help with this, like I said, comment down below. If you want to support any of these coding projects, or if you need help with a certain project, I've got a Patreon uh, that you'll see. There's a link to down below. You can go ahead and subscribe to that if you believe, if you want to sponsor any of this content and get access to some exclusive um, stuff down there. And then, of course... I've got my Discord, you can always go and ask. We've got quite a few people in there now, um, over 100 actually. Or you get access to, I've got a leaderboard bot and everything you can uh, play around with there for Hypixel stats. And then I also provide help with a lot of coding stuff there. Uh, apart from that though, if you need anything, if you have any questions or comments, you can go ahead and send those down below. Um, but that's been it for this Hypixel API tutorial video.